What is up guys? Welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing and talking about this my Diamondback AR-15 Alright guys, so this is my Diamondback AR-15 that I just purchased the other day and I wanted to talk a little bit about why I got it what I've done to it and what it was like shooting it and Kind of give you guys a little bit of an idea of what the buying process was for me at least i live in the state of virginia in uh the united states of america so yeah let's talk about it so this is my ar-15 guys just to make sure um to show you guys there is no mag the mag is empty and there is also no bullets in the gun this is a cleared gun completely, so do not worry. Um, all right, so this is uh, my Diamondback AR-15. So I got this gun to start practicing more and making some actual gun content for you guys. I know I have um, a couple, of, two or three videos up about Airsoft, but I would like to do more with real guns and this whole small channel is going to completely have a complete rechange so it's going to be really fun really cool i hope you guys really enjoy it so let's go from uh in grand thumbs words tip to butt and cover this ar so just standard flash hider bird cage flash hider we got a uh flip up front sight um, this was just off of a random, I just had this lying around, so I will probably end up putting a Magpul front sight onto this gun at some point. Moving down the rail, I do have, um, this is M-Lock, so this has M-Lock rail spaces all along here, and I bought an M-Lock rail section that's very short, it's a very, very short M-Lock section to put this foregrip on. So when I take my gun and I shoulder it, let me try to get in this frame so you guys can see it. When I go to shoulder it, I grip this gun in a C-clamp. So let me set my gun. All right, so when I shoulder it, I wanna get it into a C-clamp so I can pull it back into my shoulder for when I'm firing. And I just have the stock all the way in so you guys can, so it can fit on screen a little better. So I have that. Um, the stubby foregrip here. Um, you can buy those like um, angled foregrips or whatever they're called that are just like for C-clamping like this, but they don't have anything longer down here. I have seen those. I wasn't a big fan of those because if I'm going to put this up onto cover or on a wall or anything like that, I want it to be able, I just wanted to have a little extra here at the bottom. Um, so this is just a standard mag moving down. We've got just standard mags. I got uh, this, I think this is a P mag here that came with the gun, 30 round. This is like another 30 round hex mag. So I have three um, AR-15 mags. I think they're all 30 round. I've got my third one over here. This is just one I have for home defense that is actually loaded. So I keep the gun and the ammo completely separate just for this video. We're kind of closer to it. Moving down uh, the gun, we have this electrical tape that I have taped around here. Uh, I have that there for multiple purposes. Uh, we were out in the woods the other day and we forgot tape and I wanted to tape up some targets and we were able actually to use this tape. Uh, busted fingers, etc etc little pasties to cover up hits anything you can think of tape is nice to have so I just wrapped some electrical tape around here a couple times and I have it here for that purpose it's just admin purposes um, moving down just standard um, lower uh, as you can see you have your bolt release here don't really need to tell you guys how an AR-15 works. I'm guessing you guys know how it works since you're watching this video. Now, a lot of people are probably wondering what site this is. I can't remember off the top of my head, but there was a really great YouTube video on budget red dots and uh, 
this one was literally guys it's a really good red dot and it holds zero very well i can from about 10 yards i can hit within an a zone on an ipsic target um consistently with really really close groups i mean i'm like stacking bullets right on top of each other with this red dot and this red dot was only like i think i paid 21 dollars for this so i know it's not the most gucci red dot but i am just a brand new shooter and i'm only 20 years old so i can't go out and spend all the gucci money and plus with the coronavirus i don't have a job right now so I'm trying to still shoot but keep my everything budget so what was the first thing I changed out on this gun? The first thing I got rid of was the grip. This is a Magpul grip that I purchased at a uh, outdoor store near my house because we needed to get a cleaning kit and the gun store where I purchased this rifle was completely out of cleaning kits. So we had to go to a Gander Outdoors, bought this Magpul grip because let me go get the uh, grip that came on this gun because this gun came with this grip right here this is like a an a2 grip style grip with this little finger groove here and i just did not like the feel of it it was thin it was weird it was janky i did not like it and guys if you can see this let me see if i can get my camera to focus on it not on me, not on me. Either way, very, very aggressive stippling, and I can see this hurting hands after a while of shooting it. So I switched to this Magpul. Sock ripped it off a another gun that I had lying around. If you guys uh, no did not know, the original stock on this gun was like this really cheap, not that great um, stock that I didn't like. I didn't feel like I had a good cheek well, and I've used this stock a lot in personal dry fire drills, and I really liked it. So I just slapped it on here, and this stock has plenty of like actual extra room and of stock and stuff, so that's kind of cool. And also this, there's little storage compartments all over this AR-15. So there's storage here in the base of the grip. I have storage in the base of this here if you guys didn't know this is actually i think this is watertight yep there's a little o-ring around that and i can stick stuff up inside my grip like if i needed to put like a miniature map or something like a fold up a map and do a little square throw it in there also this stock has this butt plate here pops off and there's storage here and here and then I can cover it back up like so and then this just clips in so yeah that's pretty much this AR-15 um, one thing I do really like on this side of this AR is it says 556 NATO so that's really cool sounds amazing uh, let's look at the internals really quick pull the pin Drop the AR. so it's pretty much a like standard trigger not much to say about that it just does standard trigger thing um, as you can tell it's pretty much just stock trigger that came with the gun also just a standard quality BCG bolt carrier group here so that was awesome and then also a non-specific okay charging handle um, there is a good chance that I will switch to a um, there's a good chance I will switch to a ambi um charging handle here let me put this down real quick so i can uh, put this bulk carry group back in 
all over my fingers now um yeah so uh, and there you go it's the AR-15 so I have a lot of plans to do with this gun it's my first um, rifle uh, I'm really excited to go out and shoot this um, things that I want to change on this gun specifically, one, probably this, I'll probably get an Ambi one. Also, since I am a left-handed shooter, some of you guys may or may not know that, um, it does make it hard, because I do not have a fire selector, where is it, fire selector here, for the left hand, so when I shoot, I have to do a modified grip like this. Or I can just sweep it with my finger, which isn't as reliable. So if I do the modified grip, I can flip it to fire pretty easily. Um, and I can still get a pretty good purchase on the gun. And that's just how it is. So I'll probably switch that out for an ambi safety. And then, um, what else? Oh, an ambi mag release. That'll be pretty simple to do. Ambi of is just it's like fifteen dollars honestly to get an Ambi mag release so that'll probably be changed too and uh, I don't need to switch out the bolt release for anything crazy because if I go when I shoot I can go from here up to here and actually it's faster than um, shooting right-handed because when you're right-handed you can do the whole slap of the hand thing. I don't really know how right-handed people do it because I don't have to do that because I can just go here. So I shoot, drop mag. So typically when I go to shoot, change, do a mag change, let me grab another mag here so I can show you. I drop it, I'll, sh I'll shoot, I'll drop this hand back here, I'll hit the button, mag will come out, grab a new fresh mag, as you guys can see it's empty, up into the gun and then drop that slide with this finger so it's not it's nothing difficult they're just things that I could do to this gun to make it a lot easier for me um, and again this gun this chamber is still clear so yeah so that is my AR-15 I hope you guys liked this video uh, overview um, of this gun that I'll kind of be setting up for home defense and just shooting to become better and more proficient at firearms um so yeah the only other things i would want to put on this for home defense is i will be putting a pack light right about here on the rail so i'll need to get another m lock section and put a flashlight on there because you can't hit what you can't see so besides that just trying to find more time to get out to the range and become a more proficient shooter and just to be more mindful of gun safety and I also need to get to an actual flat bench so I can just get this gun laser lasered in even though I will say this gun is very 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 accurate at um, close distances um, I'm not setting this gun up to be like a I'm not setting this gun up to be a sniper rifle or a DMR or anything long long ranges just for something literally from here to my door or across my house um, just for safety reasons um, for personal protection um, and still be able to set it up to still take a longer shot if need be but my hope for this gun is to never ever have to use this mag that I keep at my house I never want to use this magazine ever but due to the climate of America these days and never knowing what's gonna happen I'm gonna keep this gun around so I hope you guys enjoyed that video I will catch you guys in the next one peace out